This is a production of PBS Charlotte. We've all likely seen the numbers and heard the studies. No matter which way we define upward mobility, the main finding of our most recent study is that your odds of climbing up the income ladder haven't changed significantly over the past three decades or so. Whether it's on the national scale or the local, upward mobility is one of the major issues facing the city of Charlotte. Those born into poverty in the Queen City will unfortunately likely never get out. And from that, we began looking at our demographics. Moved by the 2013 Harvard study showing Charlotte ranking last among major cities in upward mobility, officials at Atrium Health began taking a closer look at their own employees, all 60 plus thousand of them. If you look at the number of households that earn below below 30,000 in Charlotte and number of um, our teammates that earn less than 30,000, it was pretty close. Many of those at Atrium making less than $30,000 a year are certified nursing assistants or CNAs. And it would make sense that a career path for them would be into an RN role, a, a registered nurse, and it would almost double their income. But since only about 4% of CNAs get the necessary education to become registered nurses, mainly due to costs and time constraints, Atrium wanted to devise a program that would help. And you're ready for this? They partnered with their main competitors at Novant Health. And it's a scholarship program. The CNA to RN program awards scholarships to employees and also allows them to take classes during work hours and still be paid for it. Novant, as well as Atrium, have just kicked off um, the first class. So this is the first cohort and the first scholarships that have gone, that um, have been awarded. You have to be um, an employee for two years and um, it's for those who are actively in school to get their nursing degree. Amanda Talmore is one of Atrium's first scholarship recipients. Earning just $10 an hour when she started as a nursing assistant, this single mom was understandably having trouble making ends meet. She burned through her savings and wasn't sure what to do next. And I opened my email and I saw that I got the scholarship. Amanda is now a full-time student working towards her RN degree and picks up work shifts whenever she can. It's not been easy trying to raise a child and go to school full time. It's a very busy time for her, and so I try to help her, help her accommodate to the scheduling and give her the support that she needs. Once Amanda finishes her nursing degree in a year, passes the boards and becomes an official registered nurse, her pay will go up significantly, allowing her to better provide for herself and nine-year-old daughter Savannah. I don't know how much I'm gonna make, but it's gonna be better than what I'm making now, I think at least double. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual salary for certified nursing assistants is just $26,590 a year. But for RNs, that number more than doubles to $68,450. Um, it's a significant, significant difference, something that would change the projection of that family. She's going to be a phenomenal nurse one day. She definitely is. I, I without a doubt, believe she will be. Amanda isn't the only one at Atrium taking advantage of an in-house upward mobility program. Erica Dunn started out as a patient account rep seven years ago. Following up on denied claims for Medicare. She worked her way up through a number of different positions to a supervisor's role. Through my journey here at Atrium, my manager actually told me that Atrium offered a coding class here and I was not aware of that at the time. I told her about the class because there was an opportunity to lead that team. Just like its RN scholarship program, Atrium offers programs on the non-clinical side, such as the coding or billing class. It was an eight-week class. I went through the class, I tested out of the class, and I passed. And when I passed, that afforded me the opportunity to become now the manager over our PBO coding team. Erica's coding class was online via Skype, so she didn't have to leave her desk and was able to take the class during regular business hours. This is going to cut into your normal day, but we believe this type of thing is important enough and worthy of our support enough to where we're okay with that. It was amazing to have the support of the company and to have the support of my leadership team. The average base salary for medical billing clerks is $37,586 annually, but for coding managers, that number jumps to nearly 70,000. Without knowing the exact numbers, she's probably tripled or if not quadrupled her salary versus where she was when she first started. Atrium Health can't solve Charlotte's upward mobility issue, but they can certainly do their part. It's um, getting them in and getting them up is kind of how I think about it. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. Interested in this field? Charlotte Works can help you map out your career path at no cost. Connect with us at charlotteworks.com slash mycareer. A production of PBS Charlotte.